What is going on Zone Nation? Ozone here coming at you with another YouTube video and in the previous video we did fact number one and two about Mob of the Dead facts you probably never knew until now. So now we're on number three and four so without further ado let's get straight back into the video so everything's fresh on our mind. Alright so we did number one and two about the codes and the symbolization. So now we're on number three deciphering the Mob of the Dead loading screen. So the box code on the right of the loading screen has a set of numbers right? So there are 26 letters in the English alphabet, so maybe they connect with each other. The first letter is a 13, which refers to the 13th letter of the alphabet. So whatever number it is, it's got to connect with the letter in the alphabet. So 2 and 2, eh, so B and B. So if it's the 13th, which is M. Now if we decipher the full set, it says Mob of the Dead, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there was a little issue when the game first came out about the ABCD, or who the 1, 2, 3, 4 was. Who was the first 1, 2, 3, 4? So zombies are the living dead, so people thought it was talking about zombies, but turns out the code stands for the four main characters. It is called Mob the Dead because the game is supposed to represent down below. Now on the top right there was another code, it's called the ADF GVX Cypher. It is called the ADF GVX Cypher because the Germans used it in World War I so they can communicate with each other without the enemy knowing what they are saying, which is another reference to Origins. Now the code deciphered says, the giant is in France. There is another reference to the map Origins and Deriz. Deriz translates to the giant, which is also the name of the additions if you pre-order Black Ops 3, which came with the Deriz map. Now in Deriz, that is where they built the giant for Origins, which they teleported them to France to try and win World War 1. Now for them to teleport them to France, they have to use portals, which the word portal is used in deciphering the code. Number 4. The comic book easter egg and the symbolism behind the book. Now this book is possibly written by Weasel himself because when you set up when you start up zombies you are given a journal which says speaking of Icarus same old story the editor defaced my art scrawling nasty little comments on each page. Now if we zoom in on one of the pictures the editor says please don't send any more samples and a flying man do you really believe a man can fly? and even making fun of it by even asking where are the ladies shoes. A lot of people don't know this but the reason the editor is making fun of Weasel's comics is because Mob of the Dead takes place pre 1930s and early 1930s. In real life history comic books were considered extremely weird until 1938 which is when the whole Mob of the Dead idea took place. Now the superhero actually represents someone by the name of Shock Gibson. Yeah, sounds familiar right? There was from the actual comic book. Charlie Gibson was an actual scientist who was testing if electricity had a positive impact on people's bodies. When experimenting with electricity and other chemicals, a lightning bolt struck his lab causing it to explode and Gibson came out on scene. He can generate electricity out of his hands. This is a reference to Mob of the Dead by you can shoot electricity out of your hands in the afterlife mode. He swore to use his powers for good and change his name to Shock Gibson. The powers gave him the ability to fire bolts from his hands and fly, which is why you jump so high in afterlife mode in Mob the Dead. Gibson fights an evil doctor by the name of Baron, who is trying to bring back the world with his inventions such as ray guns and large ray machines. He also commences an army of zombies, which is a reference to zombies storyline. The evil doctor represents another doctor, a doctor we really know of. His name is Dr. Rick Toffin. One of the Mob of the Dead characters says, these hellhounds look a lot like the ones from Weasel's drawings. Now if you look at the dog says lions, they look like the ones in Mob of the Dead. This one especially because it's coming out of the wall just like the dogs do. So as you guys know, the map Mob of the Dead is heavily connected to the map Origins. Now if you look at all the comic book covers for Shot Gibson, he is in a war zone, seen in one of the pictures. If this picture he is carrying a tank, and there are soldiers in the background, which in Origins there is a tanky ride to collect the lightning parts for the staff, and the people who went after the breakout were considered soldiers at the time. Now in this picture, Shock looks like he's fighting a German because the uniform he is wearing. But in the background, there are some planes flying around just like the ones from Origins, just like the one you have to shoot down. There are also trenches which are also seen in Origins. So everything sounds like pre-World War One or World War One, as we say, but if you look up Shock Gibson, it says it takes place in World War Two. Shock did this because they didn't know if Origins would be World War One or World War Two, but the story of Shock Gibson was both. 
So now the name Icarus, 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 Icarus. It's, it's in our heads, we heard of it, but what is Icarus? What Icarus was the title of a comic. Now Icarus was an ancient Greek mythical tale which symbolizes Mob the Dead. Story has it by once upon a time on the island of Crete. He had living in his palace at Knossos, a great architect and inventor who went by the name of Daedalus, but he is especially supposed to have built the great labyrinth for King Minos, in which to keep the renowned Minotaur. After Daedalus built the labyrinth, though, King Minos did not want him to be able to tell its secrets to anybody else. So, he kept Daedalus a prisoner in a tall tower, all alone with his only son, Icarus. Now, Daedalus and Icarus did not like being prisoners, and so Daedalus began to think about how they could get away. He often watched the birds in the sky, observed their method of flight, and admired their complete freedom. One day, it dawned upon Daedalus that the only way to escape his imprisonment was to create wings for himself and his son. As Daedalus was a remarkable craftsman, he managed to create wings that stuck to a wooden frame with wax. He created two pairs of such wings and gave one to Icarus. Right before they take off, Daedalus warns Icarus, or the plane, hashtag people who had wings, about the dangers of flying. He told him not to fly too high or the heat from the sun will melt the wax off your wings and you will no longer be able to fly. He also told him not to fly too low or the weight of your wings will bring you down into the sea. Icarus agreed and did not listen and winded up in the ocean. Now Icarus resembles the plane on Mob of the Dead which it crashed out of the sky. The plane crashed out of the sky on Mob of the Dead onto the bridge and Icarus the person who got wings crashed out of the sky into the water. See the resemblance? So that was number three and four. And next video, we're going to be talking about number five. So leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you guys knew these facts. I really want to know because I really didn't until now. So peace out, Zone Nation. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.